draw a sketch of the locus of P. Uh, so this is 0, 2 and this is 3, 0. If you know this form, if uh, you have the form Z minus A Z minus A plus B I equals to Z minus C plus D I if you have something in this form uh, it would be a perpendicular bisector between A comma B and C comma D uh, so it's just gonna be a perpendicular bisector between uh, 0 2 for this and 3 0 0 2 for this and 3 0 for this so let's just draw our axis uh, we'll just draw our axis this is the imaginary axis and this is the real axis we'll label this as 0 2 and this as 3's and we can just draw a line to join them to help us sketch uh, I'll take that point as 3 and a perpendicular bisector to this and that's enough in part B we are told uh, we have to find the equation of C so C is basically uh, if we transform uh, the transformation T will change the Z plane to the W plane so we have an equation in the Z plane so it's basically saying that this uh, perpendicular bisector would become a circle in the W plane and we have to find the equation of the circle So if we go on, we know this, this is the given equation, linking W and Z. So it's, we have to take Z as the subject at first. So we'll do that. Uh, I'll take this on the left side. And then I'll uh, multiply the W with both. And then I'll take Z's on the same side. So I'll move the 2WY on the right and move the IZ on the left. Now I can take a Z outside on the left hand side and write it as a function of W. Uh, so we have expressed Z in terms of W. So now this is the given equation in the Z plane. So we'll just replace the Z in the form we have just found out. Write it as 2IW by W minus I. And then we'll take a common denominator on both sides with W minus I as the denominator. And after that we'll just expand the brackets. And try to write the real and imaginary parts uh, separately. Then we can just get rid of the W minus I in the denominator on both sides. Uh, I prefer you show one more step here. Just write. Just separate the modulus before. Like this. It's not mandatory but I prefer you do this. Uh, then we continue with this. Uh, now we can uh, write W as U plus IV, so break W down as well, uh, write W as U plus IV, break the brackets down and separate the real and imaginary parts. Now as we know that the modulus of this is minus 2, we can write uh, root over 3u plus 2v square plus 3v plus uh, no minus 2u minus 3 square equals to 2 and so we can just square both sides and write it 
in the form below this form so with this just break the squares down for the first part uh, this would be pretty straightforward for the second one uh, just consider this as x minus 3 whole square and consider 3v minus 2u as x so you'll get a 3v minus 2u whole square minus 2 times 3v minus 2u times 3 plus 3 square and you can write this as 9 and this would be uh, yeah this would be 9v square my bad so we'll get 9v square plus 4u square minus 6uv both of these are the same break the brackets over here uh, a 6 uv and 6 uv will cancel out over here so i'll just cancel that out i'll get 13 u square plus 13 v square minus 18 v plus 12 u plus 5 we'll just complete the squares for u and v and separating u and v and taking the 13 in front of them out so i'll get this form will, if I complete the squares and I'll get this equation which you can see is the equation of a circle with center minus 6 by 13 and 9 by 13 and a radius of root 4 by 13 so we can just write that down that it is a circle with center minus 6 by 13 plus 9 by 39 and radius four, root 4 by 13 so we can write the equation they wanted it in this form the modulus form so we'll just write it down in the modulus form 